things that I and I think I wanted to. There was a certain, um, and I don't know how relevant how she became relevant, but someone started to spread rumors that um, um, about the beginning of Uptown and and almost painting a picture. She's of- lying. Okay. She's lying. <laughs> okay. She's lying. She never even met Andre Harrell in her entire life, and if she did, he arrogantly looked past her. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, Christopher Williams probably never seen her before in, a, in his life, and I'll be sure doesn't know her at all. And she wasn't there. She's never been in an uptown office like so many other people. You know what I mean? Mm. They, they, they've they never been at uptown before. They're just speaking. I mean, I could say and, and list a whole bunch of people that are, you want to check in for us, Eve? Oh, I mean, we're here already. Yeah. You want to stay here for a second? Yeah, I'm going to stay here. Right, I'm going to finish this interview. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. No, these guys have never been a part of what we've done ever. Nothing. They haven't been on any parties, any events, Uptown Unplugged, anything. And, and, and second of all, I'm the source. If you don't come see me, you're not, not telling the truth. Period. Yeah. I knew Andre Harrell since he was nine years old. And he's one year older than me. We've been planning that out since then. All right. I named Uptown. He used to come to my high school and I would tell him, this is Uptown. Uptown was the Northeast Bronx. But the Northeast Bronx wasn't sexy enough. It didn't have that cachet that Harlem had. So we had to say that we're Harlem bound, Harlem based, all right? And then after we said that, everybody, whether they were from Mount Vernon, whether they were from Queens, we all said that we are from Harlem. Yeah, and I guess it's very hurtful for for the legacy of um, not just Uptown, but for just Black music and Black, black excellence when you're getting people spending rumors that people are you know it is kim um um heavy d andre connecting all those deaths and 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 i'm thinking well there's no proof there's no evidence there's no need and and it's just painting a bad picture of people that you don't as you mentioned she may not even know so and, and how dare you how dare you even talk like that with no proof you don't even know these people really you she wouldn't be able to get puff on the phone if she had somebody, if she knew Puff's mother, she wouldn't be able to get Puff on the phone. She wouldn't let Andre, just his own arrogance, would never even acknowledge her because he didn't like her music. Her music wasn't on the level and what we were doing. And that's mm-hmm. what he was focused on, what we were doing. And he was very arrogant if you wasn't doing that, if you wasn't at that level. Yeah. So as I said, that's that's. Just, I mean, it's good that you've been able to sort of help clear things up because it's it's been sad that it's just dragging the legacy of you know Andre, Heavy D, Kim, um, Al into in in the gutter and and people just because mm-hmm. it's coming from a recording artist who has no connection to Uptown or to Universal or or to anything that you guys are doing, but because it's a recording mm-hmm. artist, it's like oh yeah, everything that's been said it must be true and and there's no filter. Yeah. There's no one fact checks in it. It's just like, oh, this must be true. And I think and that's the sad thing, because as you mentioned, there's still but, a lot of hurt around Kim passing, Al's recovering and to be dragged into this and and and, and to just label all these people. It's, it's really it's really a bad thing for our community. And I, I just don't know. And, people... and, 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 and it's not a bad thing that you would saw you Andre Harrell's name, with all that he has given to music, not even black music. Andre mentored actors, singers, pop stars, you know, um, just everybody. He was so open with his information if he respected you, if he respected your craft and the way that you did it. But if he didn't and then you wasn't on that level in the way that he felt about your, your, your art, your music, he wouldn't even acknowledge you. And he was arrogant like that. You know what I mean? Like he had to see something in you. 
like if you was an intern, he had to see something in you that you would be better than that. Mm -hmm. And he would provide you and lay out the information for you. That's how Puff Daddy became Puff Daddy. He didn't know any of this stuff. He didn't know about the white parties. He didn't know about any dressing. Uh, he didn't know about singing, going in the studio. Andre provided that. He put him with Eddie F. He put him with Al B. Shore. He put him with producers and, and made them have relationships with him. And he grew from that because he, he's a genius. And he, and, and, you know, a, a, a real genius and really smart person. You can't hold him back at all. Mm -hmm. They're going to be their own boss eventually. They're not going to be there as part of the army or the crew. I'm I'm a person that I'm part of the army. I'm a general <laughs> in the army. I'm a general in the army, but I'm part of the army. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm fighting, going down with the ship, win or lose. I'm there. Puffy is always striving to do better on his own and make it his own mark. Yeah. And that was the problem with him at Uptown. They, they couldn't be two kings. <laughs> Andre and him, that was impossible. <laughs> and that happened very quickly within a, a period of three years. Wow. Came in the door, got embraced by everybody because Andre said, embrace him. Andre said, lift him up, make him great. Because he was great. He is brilliant. He is a genius. And for this young lady to be speaking on him killing Andre or killing Kim, you know, that's just flagrant and foul. Because you don't know any of these people. And it's wrong. And you're lying. You're lying saying that you know him and you don't. You've never been at Uptown. You've never been at Puffy's house party anything only time i ever seen her is when i invited my friend darren chandler and he was uh a and r and angie stone i invited her to um robin thick's house so robin thick she comes to robin thick's house and causes some sort of commotion there and we shuffle her ass right on out the door <laughs> all right and that's the extent of who her relationship with Andre Harrell and anybody else. Yeah. And as far as what she said about Christopher Williams and Andre, I mean, and Puff Daddy, you know, those guys, you know, they've done their, uh, they've had their issues, you know, but uh, you've never seen anything like that before because you never was there. You wasn't it. When were you there? Ever. In the studio, when we recorded MTV, and we were only company that did MTV Unplugged. When when did you when where were you? You speaking on all this stuff? Where were you? You wasn't friends with Kim. You're not friends with Puff. Call him and ask him. He's not even gonna respond to you. Asking her you about her. You know what I mean? Asking him about her. He's not even going to respond. I'll tell you something about Russell Simmons, Andre Harrell, and Puff Daddy. And Puffy gets this from them. He doesn't respond to criticism. He doesn't respond to slander. You mm -hmm. ain't going to hear him say anything about it. This is not worth it. Yeah. People go and believe what they want to believe about you. Yeah. They don't know anything about you. And I'm just saying, have you ever had dinner with him? No. Have you ever been to his house? Do you know how he treated Kim or Kim treated him? You don't know nothing about him. You're just speaking off of hearsay and making up shit. Yeah. And then also insulting Mary as well. You know, every time Mary and does you insulted he... Mary, yeah. Yeah, every time and, Mary and does because, something great, yeah. Because you're jealous. Because you have never been able to achieve that. And you've been on the same record labels as Mary. You know, you've been on Universal, and Mary's been on Universal. You haven't been able to achieve it. And, you know, Mary got to fight jealous people 
all the time because of her success. And Puffy has to do it too. He's not no angel. You know what I mean? He's not an angel, but you're just going to be like, he has children. He has a mother. He has flagrant. And you're saying things that are extremely hurtful, not only to him, but to other people and other artists and to the whole staff and artists on Uptown Records. And you're taking the truth and you're twisting it all kinds of ways. And this is something I didn't even want to do. I didn't even want to speak on her. Mm. I, I, I put something on her post like, you're lying, shut the fuck up. You know, but I didn't really want to get on here and start airing her out because it's just ridiculous. Yeah, and I didn't mention but, her name. Yeah, and I didn't mention and, her name. and 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 I'm not. I, you notice I haven't mentioned her name. Yeah, but I mean, she don't want to come up. She's like honeycombs. We're gonna kill you and run you out of town. What kind of shit is that to say? I guarantee you, Puff didn't even see that. You're not running anybody out of town. You're not killing anybody. And you got some traction, 40,000, 50,000 people viewed it. Okay, so what? And you know, you could do that with a robot on Instagram. You can get 50,000 views if, you, if it's not organic, you know, you can pay for that. And then you can go to one of these idiots at this com these companies and say, you know, look at what I got, you know, give me a, a, a I'm trying to cut a documentary deal. But what is it about? You know why the BET shit didn't come across? Because it's not authentic. There's no truth in it. Me and Andre wrote the whole thing. Andre and me wrote the whole thing. Andre passed away. Now you want to pretend like I'm not here. Uh -huh. And you can take my legacy. You can't take my legacy. Because the truth will always prevail. I'm the truth. I'm the source of it all. Period. I drove the records to number one. I set the tone of what Uptown is. The, the, the fashion. The, the language. The, you know, the vernacular. Um, what we look like. What we dress like. How we talk how our hand movements were. You see that in all the artists. And if you ask any of them, they can't deny it. Mm -hmm. Andre Harrell is the front man and he's able to translate the image and the persona of Uptown Records. Yeah. I'm the guy with a bunch of ideas along with a, other, a lot of other people. Because nobody did this on their own. Not mm -hmm. one person. Puffy's not a billionaire without the help of all of the people at Uptown and Andre Harrell telling him he could do it. Because nobody came in the door thinking they could achieve that level of, of a success. Mm. How do we get Bruce Willis here and Demi Moore and have them sit next to Biggie Smalls and Heavy D? And then they realize, like, oh, wow, these guys are really, really intelligent. They really are intelligent. When you deal with Puffs, you're dealing with a genius. You're not dealing with no regular human being. And all the guys that came behind us, Jay-Z, whether it was Jay-Z, whether it was uh, Irv Gotti, whoever, all these guys, it was, they didn't just learn what they know how to do. They learned all this shit from Uptown. You listen to every record Irv Gotti ever did is a duplicate of an Uptown record, a replica of it. Every single one, all the Shanti music, everything, Ja Rule, whatever. Mm. To the day, Drake emulates Devante. Where did Devante get his talents from? I'll be sure, Eddie F. And but he probably gonna kill me behind saying this. <laughs> but the uptown system, yeah, it worked. Hey guys, thanks for watching. 
hope you enjoyed what you saw please remember to like share comment and most importantly subscribe turn on the notification so you can always be um, alerted when we have a new video but thanks for watching till next time